Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be looking into what NIRF is about. So, NIRF stands for National Institute Ranking Framework. We can get into the official website and we shall look into what NIRF means. So, nirfindia.org is the official website. So, NIRF was launched by the HRD Ministry on September 2015 and it looks into various criteria for ranking the institutions and universities. The important parameters that are taken into consideration are teaching, learning and resources, research, graduation outcomes, outreach and perception. So let us look into the main parameters which are considered by the NIRF. You can get all the five parameters which the NIRF takes for consideration and we shall also look into the documents which are uh, mentioning the important aspects for the parameters. Teaching, learning and resources. Under this division there are four criteria. Under research and professional practice there are again four criteria. For graduation outcomes we have certain criteria for outreach and inclusivity and finally for the peer perception. So let us look into the documents since for the UGC net exam questions are expected from these parameters. So let me show you the official document. If you see these are the five parameters which are taken by the NIRF for ranking the colleges, universities and institutions and weightage and marks is also given. For example, let us focus on each one. What do we mean by teaching, learning and resources? For teaching, learning and resources, it focus on what is the total strength of students in a college or a university and how many people are doing doctoral students or how many people are doing PhD. Second aspect is how many permanent faculties are there? For example, in a college, there could be a lot of part-time faculty and what is the ratio between student and the faculty? For 15 students, one teacher. That is considered to be the highest mark for NIRF. And what is the third criteria? For instance, faculties with the PhD and experience. So that is a mark. For example, if all the faculties in a college are having PhD and with more than one year of experience, they will be given 20 marks. The institution will be given 20 marks. If all the students, for instance, in all the total students, a certain proportion of students are doing PhD, then that will be considered for 20 marks. And uh, if a college or a university is having a ratio of 1 is to 15, that is for 15 students, there is only one faculty, then the ratio will be 30 marks. I mean, when the, if that is the case, the college or the ins institutions or the university will get 30 marks. So these are the criteria. And the another last one is, the total resources in terms of finance and how much it was utilized. If that is the case and if all the finance is utilized in the optimal level, 30 marks will be given for the institution. So this overall perception will be considered for 100 marks. This comes under teaching, learning and resources. Second parameter is research. How many publication has happened? How many publication has happened in a quality journal? How many intellectual property rights and how many patents and finally the footprint of project projects. For example, if your project is taken as a review in a quality journal outside a state or outside a country, that will also be considered. That comes under the fourth criteria, footprint of projects and professional practice. And the third parameter is graduation outcomes. How many people clear the university exams? And how many PhD students are graduating? So that is considered to be the graduation outcome. And if you see the marks, number of students, for example, if there are 100 students and if all the 100 students graduate in a university, then the institution will get 60 marks. If all the PhD students graduate within their stipulated time, they will be given 40 marks. And the fourth parameter is outreach and inclusivity. How many students are from different states, different countries, the diversifications or the diversity, percentage of women students in the institute, how many students are from economically and socially challenged background 
and how many physically challenged students so these criteria will be taken and marks will be allocated and all the parameters if you see whether it's teaching learning resources or research and professional practice or the graduation outcome each will be given 100 marks each inside each item there are certain internal criteria and that will be given marks 20 marks 30 marks 20 marks and 30 marks if you see graduation outcomes they are giving 60 marks for the university metric and 40 marks for the phd graduation so and similarly for the outreach there will be different criteria and the last one is perception for perception in colleges and institutions 100 marks is given for academic peers and employers marks so pr suppose if it is going to be a university slightly there is a change that is 70 percentage is given for the peer perception and the remaining 30 percentage is given for accreditation so for instance the goodwill of an institute how the peer within the organization ranks their own institute and a 360 degree perception is also taken into consideration so these five, five criteria are the major part which are taken by the institute that is the national institute for ranking framework all the institute in india looks into this that is all the institute of india has to look into this criteria if they wanted to rank better in the country for example if you go to the ranking section you can get the data for 2016 17 18 19 and of course 20 so if you go to the 2020 data you can find different criteria you can find the overall category you can get the data for university engineering management pharmacy college medical for all the aspects separate separate links are there for instance let me focus on college if you see the number one college in india it is miranda house which is in delhi and the state is also delhi it is having a score of 77.23 so the rank is number one how did this particular college got number one you can get this detail from the official pdf i'll just show you and you can see the different criteria that the institution has framed for example how many students are sanctioned how many students are studying in the respective year first year third year and pg and how many placements has happened all these criteria they have mentioned it in their pdf similarly you can also get the data for the university or maybe the overall you can see the overall ranking the number one institution in india is iit madras which is resided in chennai tamil nadu and it is having a score of 85.31 this score 85.31 is the average of all the parameters we discussed the parameters are please remember teaching learning or you can just keep it as teaching parameter second one is research parameter third one is graduation parameter fourth is outreach fifth one is peer perception this all the aspects of uh, criteria are considered in order for a college to rank better this is nothing to do with accreditation that is different accreditation is done by NAC NIRF is there to give ranking for the colleges it is not only limited to colleges it looks into the university it looks into the colleges it looks into the institution also for example IIT Madras IIMs all these are also taken into consideration so please look into the official website uh, in the last unit that is the higher education unit in the UGC net paper one we can expect one question from NIRF so kindly go to the nirfindia.org and look into the aspects you have to study about what is nirf go to the parameter look into the five parameter and most importantly get the document you can get the document and you can look into how the calculation is made this is not required much for the exam but for understanding purpose you complete all the five important area and how the calculations are made that also you can look into it so with this i hope whatever that we discussed is clear any doubts relating to it please put it in the comment section so thank you